So last week I went down to the local pond to collect some frog spawn and I took it home and placed it into an aquarium with the intention of following the development of the spawn over the next few weeks and months as it grew into tadpoles and then into little frogs. So let's go and check on frog spawn and see how it's developed from last week. Unfortunately, it's not great news. This is Frog Watch. This was the scene a few days after I placed the spawn in the tank. It was looking pretty healthy with a small amount of development in some of the spawn and a couple of the tadpoles had even started to hatch. Move forward another couple of days and I began to see something wasn't right. The jelly of the spawn appeared to disintegrate and no further development seemed to be happening. Something similar happened last year but only after the majority of the tadpoles had hatched. Today, most of the jelly has completely disintegrated and we can be pretty confident it's not going to develop any further. Not all hope is lost as I've been able to spot about four tadpoles that have hatched. When the tadpoles first hatch, they spend the first day or two attached to the jelly which they feed off. At this stage, you may be able to spot external feathery gills which they use to breathe with. As the tadpoles grow, skin will grow over the gills and they become internal. So for some reason this batch of spawn has failed. I don't know whether it's something that I did wrong when I was setting up the tank or maybe this batch of spawn was always destined never to develop properly. Uh, there's no real way of telling, or at least I've no real way of telling. I'm not an expert. Uh, but we can't have the series of frog watch without any tadpoles and frogs. So uh, we're going to go back to the pond. We're going to see if we can get some of the tadpoles there and hopefully we'll have a little batch of tadpoles that we can have for this year's series. So development may have failed in my tank, but it's been much more successful at the pond. You can see thousands of tadpoles swimming about in the water. I even catch a glimpse of a greater water boatman who will probably feed off some of these tadpoles. Okay, so pulled out a small amount of tadpoles. We don't want too many for our tank. Let's hope that these guys do a little bit better than the spawn did. Let's get them home, put them in the tank, and hope, fingers crossed, they'll do okay. Okay, we're back home and we have our jar of tadpoles, and we're gonna be adding them into this tank. I'm gonna leave the uh, degraded spawn in there for a little while longer. That will be food for the ones that we put in, so they will eat that, um, and then maybe after a day or two, I'll remove anything that's left. Um, so we have the tadpoles back here. I did have a slight scare when I got back. I was worried that they didn't survive the journey home because they were all just sitting at the bottom of the jar, not moving. I was a real worry that uh, they died on the way back. Uh, luckily, they um, seem to have recovered, maybe because they've been shaking up in the jar on the journey home. They didn't really like that. Um, but um, yeah, they seem to be fine. They're swimming around in the jar and it's, uh, it's all looking good. Um, I had a real worry that um, I was doing more harm than good this year because we had the spawn which has failed. I thought maybe I'd killed the tadpoles. The, the idea behind this series is to try and help these tadpoles uh, progress. As I said in the previous episode, a female frog can lay anywhere up to between two, even 3,000 spawn. And out of that uh, number, only around five will survive until adulthood. By taking them out of the wild and putting them in a controlled environment where there are no predators and there is always ab abundant food and I can look after them in a controlled manner, then that number should rise a lot higher. We should have a lot more than five survive. If I can get around 20, 20 25, 30 tadpoles in here and release 10, 20 back into the wild, um, then 
I consider myself as I've done the job that I set out to do. Um, so with the, sp the spawn failing, and when I thought that they'd all died on the way home, I was thinking, man, this, this series is going to be terrible because I've done more harm than good. But, fingers crossed, that's not the case. And once I put them in there, and they'll settle in, and we'll actually have a healthy population of tadpoles, we can uh, raise them all up into little frogs and release them back into the pond in a few months' time. So let's uh, put them in. Hopefully they're going to be okay. Then you can see that obviously we have pond water in here. It's pretty dirty. So what I'll we'll probably do is uh, maybe tomorrow um, I might uh, give us a bit of a, uh, a clean water change. Um, but we'll see how, how it settles down. But I'm going to try it as gently as possible. Now there is some detritus and bits of jelly and, and pond muck and everything in there. But we're going to try and um, put them in here with as little shock as possible. Okay, let's make sure we've got them all. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we can see that there's a lot of debris. This is all this kind of gunk is part of the jelly which they hatched out from. Um, but we can see there's definitely got a few tadpoles there. Hopefully that will be okay. You can see this one, for example, is just completely sinking down. You don't know whether you can see that, you're probably too far away, but it's completely sinking down, not moving. But I believe that uh, the kind of shock of things um you know, makes them sort of freeze up. I've noticed that before when I've when I've put them into tanks, they kind of they hold station and they don't move for a little while. Then a few minutes later they settle down and they're up and they're swimming around. There may be of some that haven't done so well, but we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. So I've let them settle in overnight and most of them have settled down to the bottom here and attached themselves to the jelly. Uh, they will be attached to this for a little while. They'll be using this as a source of food and they'll be eating that for a little while until they grow a little bit bigger and then we'll need to start feeding them uh, with various types of uh, leaves and things, but we'll get into that into a future episode. Uh, but they seem to be reasonably happy in here. I don't have as many tadpoles as I was expecting at this stage, but honestly this tank is only really good for between 20 and 30 tadpoles anyway, so we've probably got a decent amount for the size of tank that we have. Well that's all I have for you this week, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do come back next Sunday when hopefully we'll see how much these tadpoles have developed over the week. So I'll see you then, goodbye.